Hey guys, what's going on? It's Billy here from the Best Place to Buy Gold Online. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and check out my website, goldfinancial.de. Go ahead and register yourself for a free account to start acquiring small um, quantities of gold for the cheapest prices available online in the UK. So, HSBC uh, seeks, seeks the right to look into safety deposit box boxes of Hong Kong. Um, HSBC has caused an uproar in Hong Kong after it insisted it had the right to look into its customer safety deposit box. The bank said that it had the right to dispose of any items it considered illegal or offensive in nature or likely to be deemed a nuisance. Um, in a letter sent to its clients last month, the bank told its customers that under new conditions of its leases for the safe deposit boxes, it had the right to dispose of any items in any way it saw fit which reportedly saw a copy of the letter said that the bank failed to clarify what it meant by offensive or nuisance it also had it also did not say under what circumstance bank staff would be able to inspect the boxes um i'm not going to continue reading this but uh the reason why i'm sharing this with you is this just goes to show all right my uh internet just wants to do uh, what it wants when it wants however it wants how strange so this just goes to show that there is a need to store your physical and um, personal possessions whether it be gold silver whatever jewelry whatever it is that you have that are your private possessions outside of the banking system to stop this from happening because what's to say when the next bail-in comes because there's going to be no more bailouts. They've done that. The taxpayers have taken too much of a burden now. Now it's on the customers. They're going to use those deposits because they now know what is in those deposits to um, raise capital and liquidate the bank if it has illiquid problems. So that's just my point I wanted to make on this point, uh, on this story. I'm going to leave the description in the, uh, in the, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And if you uh, are at all worried about your possessions uh, in safety deposit boxes and you have them in the bank, I highly recommend you seek um, some storage elsewhere, private, outside of the banking sector. And um, there's some fantastic information over on Zero Hedge with regards to uh, what you should be looking for for um, storage requirements. Also, Jim Rickard shares quite a bit of information on what you should be looking for when it comes to storing your gold in private storage. And um, if you want to start acquiring gold um, at the cheapest prices um, anywhere in the UK online, go ahead and check out my website, goldfinancial.de. We have um, on your first up to your first purchase uh, at 10% over spot. Nobody in the world is doing that currently right now. Um, at least I know for a fact that is in the UK. And um, that also gives you six months free storage. Again, fully allocated in your name. And uh, you can request delivery of that gold at any time or liquidate it into cash. So there you have it. Go check out goldfinancial.de. I've now got to go and rescue my wallet from my son because he's uh, emptying all my silvers and my gold. So <laughs> I will see you uh, on the next video. Take care. Bye.